Welcome to another episode of the Multifamily Collective. Today, I wanted to unpack a little bit of what I took away from Blueprint 2024 that was uh, in Las Vegas this past week, 17, 18, 19. Uh, I took a very late afternoon flight, which means getting in super late uh, back to Leanna last night. So I think it was three o'clock in the morning by the time I got back to my house. But uh, the conference itself, amazing. Uh, Martin and uh, his team really put together a conference that is just, in my mind, one of the top-notch conferences as it relates to bringing together people who uh, create technology, people who invest in technology, people who use technology in the multifamily space and, and other aspects of uh, the built space. So it's not just multifamily. Uh, Blueprint is is not just multifamily, but uh, roughly 3,000 people come together and, in, uh, and create just uh, an incredible experience. There are so many well-programmed uh, collision points within the Blueprint uh, ecosystem. And it just gives cause for lots of conversation to happen, lots of catalysts for conversation to happen. The sessions provide catalysts for conversations, the roundtables, catalysts for conversation, uh, certainly the the way that the the footprint of the trade show floor is organized, lots of catalysts for conversation, collision points where people come together and just have, you know, hallway talk or water cooler talk and uh, as we all know, when many minds come together, there is something that is created called the third mind, where ideas just sort of bubble up and percolate uh, to the top, and uh, you walk away thinking about things that you can do to to either enhance your operation or enhance your investment thesis or methodology um, or increase the products uh, and services that you're offering out into the real estate space. But it, it was interesting to me, the energy in the room was as it was last year. Last year, I think I I took away that the energy in the room was a little bit anxious, and that is to say that the economy was different. There was a lot of uncertainty. Interest rates, I think, at the time were either still rising or they had uh, started to peak out. And the VC uh, space, money coming into the tech space, prop tech space, had started to dry up, if not uh, dried up completely. Uh, except for very strategic or opportunistic um, scenarios. So this year, it, it felt like and it seemed like the energy had increased and people could see that the ice was starting to thaw a little bit. And certainly, <laughs> interest rates were adjusted as we were in the conference. Uh, There's a 50 pips of adjustment to the interest rates that was announced, I think it was Wednesday. So it was during the conference. And I think that people are just starting to see the I thought a little bit. I certainly think that when we get past the election, uh, no matter who ends up in the office, uh, at least people are going to have some sense of certainty as it relates to the, how that person or that administration might operate uh, and how it might impact the business space and the real estate space specifically. Mm -hmm. So there, uh, there isn't a different energy. There was a different energy this year. I would say it was an increase. It was a plus. Uh, certainly seeing the ice start to th start to thaw and people. Uh, I think gearing up and getting ready for the opportunity to invest in tech, to uh, sell more tech into the property management space or the, the built space, uh, solving problems, continuing to solve problems that the space experiences. We'll talk about some neat things that I saw or heard about while I was there, just novel ideas and thoughts that are already in practice, some that I think will come to be. Uh, we'll do that in future posts. Uh, but I think the headwinds are starting to uh, turn into maybe head breezes instead of like full force hurricane type winds like they were uh, 18 to 20 months ago, 30 months ago. And we're now potentially getting to the point where we might have some tailwinds that will come into the space as it relates to all of those constituents that are serving uh, each other. So. Uh, I walk away with a two thumbs up as it relates to the Blueprint Conference. I encourage anyone and everyone uh, to sign up, uh, do your research and sign up and get ready for next year. Uh, make sure you write that into your budgets, author it in this year so that you can uh, go ahead and sign up uh, now. And then I would certainly encourage uh, everybody to start to think about how you're going to utilize uh, technology uh, whether it be AI or some other forms of technology uh, in the coming year of 2025. And certainly Blueprint is a place, uh, a great resource to go and learn more. I think they post a lot of the content uh, post uh, session or post conference. Uh, so you can go out to their website and you actually access a lot of that material. So 
All that being said, uh, I think the conference was uh, two thumbs up, five star review. Take care. We'll talk to you again soon.